Hey, CPA candidates, this is Matt, co-founder of Universal CPA Review. Now, one of the most common reasons that a candidate fails is because they don't get through the exam in time. If you've seen our FAR study guide, then you'll have seen that we recommend this specific FAR timing strategy. So on the left, you can see that for multiple choice questions, we recommend two hours to get through both test slits. And that means that you have approximately 1.8 minutes for multiple choice question. So for some of the questions, they're gonna be easy and you're not gonna need that full amount. But some of them that have multiple calculations or it's a thick paragraph, well, it's gonna be hard to get it done in less than two minutes. So what strategy can you implement to make sure that you're using your time most efficiently? Well, that tip is going to be to read the last sentence of the question first. That will give you an indication of what the question really wants you to answer. And more often than not, it's going to tell you the topic that is being tested. Because remember, these questions are in no particular order. Yes, when you're going through your review course, they're in modules, summarized by topic. Right? But on the exam, it's completely randomized. So let's look at this example, right? If we read the last sentence first, it says, what amount of loss should the company report as discontinued operations in year five's income statement? So a few things there. We know we're talking about discontinued operations in your mental map. The light should go off and go, oh, okay, here are the steps to solve. Here's what I should be thinking about. And we also know we're talking about year five, and we also know we're talking about the income statement. So when you think back to the mental map, well, there's three things that impact the income statement, right? It's gain or loss on disposal, any impairment loss, as well as the operating loss or profit for the given year. But now when we read back through the question, we now know what we're focused on and we can figure out how to apply that information and what we need and what we don't. So that is one simple tip. Now I encourage you not to just all of a sudden implement this on exam day. This is something you practice, right? Now it could work for every question, but it works even better for some of these bigger questions that have a ton of information and you need to get uh, to the bottom of it very quickly. And again, the best way to do that is read the last sentence first as that will give you a lot of direction on exactly what you need to focus on. So that is your tip for FAR. Check out our FAR study guides, check out the universal course free trial if you haven't yet and reach out to us with any questions, all right? Now get after it and go nail this exam.